Yo, what's good? It's your boy Brawlett back again with another video, man. Shout out to everybody that watched my last two previous videos, man. I told y'all I was back, so let's get right back into it, man. So, this video, man, I really don't even know where to start. Because, first off, let me just go ahead and say rest in peace to Juice World. You know what I'm saying? We lost a real talented young artist, bro. Like, we, we really lost a young, talented artist. And, you know... Just to, for me to even be saying that makes it sound like I'm old as shit. And I'm only 26, you know what I'm saying? But this ain't about me, it's about Juice World. So, where do I begin? I remember when I first discovered Juice World. Um, it was on SoundCloud. And uh, a friend of mine had put me onto one of his songs, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was like, okay, you know, it, it, it sound pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm an artist as well, bro. So, you know, when you hear something that sounds good, you know what I'm saying? You either gonna be like, yeah, that sounds good. Or if it doesn't, you're gonna be like, keep working or that's not it. Or, you know what I'm saying? Situations like that. <clears throat> well, I first wanna start off by saying that the type of music that Juice World made was very dark. You know, and before we get into this, before we get into this video as well, I just want you guys to understand. I'm not here to bash Juice World. I'm really here to just speak my opinion on things. Juice World was only 21 years old. Had a bright future ahead of him. You know what I'm saying? From what Herbo G Herbo was saying, one of his close friends, bro. You know. Dude was not all the fame, the money, and just everything that he was already dealing with before all that had just doubled and tripled up on him. You know what I mean? So, really, I'm really bullshitting in this video because I'm beating around the bush. But what I really want to get to is we have to do better. And when I say we, I'm speaking on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because... I remember at one point in time when all people did was drink. Then I remember at a point in time, all people did was smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? I was one of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then it, it went from weed to lean. You know what I'm saying? Everybody started doing lean. You know what I mean? It just got out of hand. And now we on these pills, bro. And I just feel like, what's next? You know what I'm saying? If we, if we just going down the line, bro, of everything that we could possibly use to destroy ourselves. Now, I've been smoking weed, bro, since I got out of high school. A lot of people say they used to smoke weed while they was in high school. I didn't have that luxury, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't start smoking weed till after high school. Now, did I hit up my first blunt in high school? Yeah, but I wasn't smoking, you know what I'm saying? You want you want to catch me like, hey, G, I need a, I need a 3-5, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna roll up, you know what I'm saying? And then back then, nigga was smoking good Reggie. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't just no loud, you know what I mean? But I don't know. If if you smoke weed, let me know down below in the comments if you started off smoking Reggie or if you started smoking loud. Loud is Kush, gas, whatever you call it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me know down below in the comments. If you ask me, bro, what do I do to, to cope with the things that I'm dealing with in life? I smoke weed, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I smoke weed every day. Am I addicted? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I gotta be honest with y'all right here because this is something we have to be honest with ourselves about. Let me, let me know down below in the comments what y'all do to cope with y'all problems. Whether it's drinking, smoking, pills, you know what I'm saying? Lean. Uh, even if it's not drug related, it could be going to work out. It could be going to do yoga. Uh, it could be washing cars. It could be uh, playing a game. Like, whatever it is that you do, whenever you get frustrated, upset, or if you're stressed out, what is your go-to? You know what I'm saying? And I think for me, I don't go to weed when I'm stressed out because I smoke weed every day and I'm not stressed every day. So it's not like, oh man, I'm not feeling good today. Let me go grab a blunt. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it really is for me. You know what I'm saying? But 
the whole purpose of this video, bro, is just for us to understand what are we doing to ourselves? And not only what are we doing to ourselves, what are we promoting to the youth, to the public? You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of times us as influencers, YouTubers, whatever you want to call us, don't really realize the influence that we really have. You know what I'm saying? Because YouTubers and like social media influencers, we are the new celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Like at first, back in the day when we was kids, actors, you know what I'm saying? Actresses, athletes, you know what I'm saying? Were really the, the stars, the rappers, the singers, you know what I'm saying? Those were the celebrities, you know what I'm saying? But nowadays it's different. You know what I'm saying? But we have to understand if you grew up in a certain environment growing up and this is what you were exposed to, it's nothing wrong with explaining your story. If you do, if you are one of those people that, you know, tell your story, it's not a bad thing to let people know you went through those things, but it's also a responsibility to also let those people know that do come across your, your content, that this is what I went through when I was this. But I've been working on myself. I stopped doing it, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Because we are promoting these things, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, I like I said, I smoke weed every day, bro. Would I go, would, am I promoting smoking weed to the youth? I felt like I have, you know what I'm saying? But weed is not harmful, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I was looking at a map the other day of like the legalization of the United States and marijuana use. And it's really almost covered, bro. We just have like maybe five, six, seven states that just haven't got on board yet. But for the most part, Weed doesn't harm you, bro. Like I, like I said, bro, I've been smoking weed since I got out of high school, bro. And I graduated when I was 17. You know what I mean? And I still feel like I can function great. You know what I'm saying? I rarely get sick, bro. I rarely get sick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just real talk. I rarely get sick. And I don't know if it's from smoking weed every day, but you, I promise you, bro. I know people that get sick. At least four, five, six times out of a year, I'll probably get sick once. You know what I'm saying? But that's just the first segment of this video. So I want you guys to let me know down below, even if it's not you, if you know somebody that copes with their stress or with their demons in an unhealthy way then we have to start standing up and, and saying something. If you got a friend you know that pop pills and do all these hard drugs, bro, and you ain't saying a damn thing to them, you don't care about them, bro. You don't. And if you watching this and you do do those things and ain't nobody ever came to you, man to man, woman to woman told you, hey man, I just, I just really don't think that's good for you. You know what I'm saying? Or I see where this is leading to, man. I don't think you need to be doing that. Then you need new friends. You need new family members. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't care about your health. And then all of a sudden, a month or two later, will come and then next thing you know, you're in a ICU or you in a, you know what I'm saying? You in a hospital or you didn't passed away because the drugs have overtaken your body. You know what I'm saying? Like another thing people have to understand, this, this is our vehicle, bro. This is how we get around. We are souls, bro. And this is where it's gonna get deep, bro. We are souls, bro. We are not this. This is flesh, bro. We are inside of this temple. God provided us this to use to walk and do all these other things throughout the universe. So be thankful, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Really, I'm talking to myself too because I'm trying to get myself back into that peaceful mind state, that healthy mind state. Like, I really, I feel like this is why I'm really getting back 
talking to you guys again because I feel like I'm at another period in my life where I feel like it's just time to grow. And I just feel like I'm awakening to more things. You know, I had an awakening years ago. You know what I'm saying? But what I also learned is you can also have more than one. And clearly I'm probably on my second or third awakening because I'm very smart, bro. I'm very intelligent. I have a lot of wisdom. I'm an old soul. I have a good spirit, bro, just like one of my subs told me the other day. And it really just made me realize, like, that's really what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to help y'all. But not only help y'all, but help myself. You know what I'm saying? With me growing and, and progressing in life, it's going to help you guys. So I have to continue doing what I'm doing. With that being said, bro, Make sure you guys like this video. If you new, man, make sure you subscribe. I got more dope content on the way, bro. But yeah, man, it's just something to think about, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got to do better. And I know we can, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just like how we promote negativity, we got to keep promoting positivity. You know what I mean? Because it was a reason why people back in the day or in our parents' generation or before they lived all the way, they lived a full life. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like the generations that keep coming up, they not living this long, bro. And it's because of these drugs, bro. So let's stand up. Let's make a stand, bro. Make sure y'all share this video. Make sure you like, comment, do all those things, bro. I would surely appreciate it. Other than that, man, I'll see y'all in my next video, bro. It's your boy Broadway. I'm out. Let's get it. We only get one life to live, guys. Just one. So make sure you live your best life. We thank you, bro. We appreciate you. Rest in peace. Juice World.